Good day folks, Derek, that ADU guy here. Thanks for joining me. I want to start this video uh, with kind of a, a somber reminder of why we have the opportunity to build back better right now and why we have the opportunity with a blank canvas to build accessory dwelling units. And unfortunately, that was because of a devastating wildfire. September 8th of 2020, the Alameda fire raged through our community. This is Talent, Oregon. There were about 3,000 people that lost their homes. Uh, there were lives lost. There were pets lost. There was a lot of um, trauma that came uh, with where we're at today. So it's just really important for me to respect that and say that and note that. Um, so thank you for understanding. Uh, with all that said, what we've had is an opportunity to take the land and use it for, um, depending on the zone, the greatest and best use. And so I wanted to put together a quick little video here of a, a small neighborhood in the path of the fire where people are rebuilding and talk about a couple of principles that we can use to rebuild with kind of the end user in mind and the greatest and best use of the land as it applies to accessory dwelling units. So I'm going to just kind of pan around the neighborhood um, real quickly and we're going to do a, a quick walk through of this um, site and talk about some site design standards and you can see uh, some of the cleanup is is still underway a lot of people have um, completed building and here we have a, a large corner lot that uh, would completely fit an accessory dwelling unit but the needs of this homeowner are uh, appears to be more yard space and probably a nice big organic garden um, kind of panning across the street over here we have somebody that's rebuilt with a it looks like a primary house with an ADU above garage and then a detached ADU so this is a high density zone and as opposed to building um, you know kind of a traditional triplex uh, this person has chose to rebuild with more of a primary house ADU model and that's exactly what's happening here and I, I just wanted to do a quick walk around so this is a larger size lot um, you could choose to build a single family house and have a large yard you could have a garden uh, maybe have rv parking or uh, a basketball court i mean this is a large lot and i think it's really important to note that this person chose to dis design the um the property with housing in mind so this is a three unit setup it's a primary house here with an attached accessory dwelling unit above the garage and if you follow my channel, you'll be able to walk through all of these. And then over here, we have a detached slab on grade accessory dwelling unit. And it doesn't feel crowded. It doesn't feel like there's no space. Uh, there's going to be plenty of parking over here. There'll be green area, room for a garden, good southern exposure. But you can see the primary house, detached ADU, and ADU above garage. So I just like to remind people that uh, if you have the opportunity, hopefully not from wildfire, but if you're looking at a lot or you're looking at building, uh, there's a huge tailwind right now in many, many states supporting accessory dwelling units, both attached and detached. So at least consider putting an accessory dwelling unit on your site if you're building. So I hope that helps more than a like, more than a subscribe. My main goal here is to just get as much information out to as many people as possible so they can take action and build an ADU. Thanks for your time. Hope everybody's having a good day.